there's this thing the brain does that is wild to me. And I've been thinking about it this way. Imagine I told you, I'm gonna build a bunch of bridges, like a thousand bridges. To help you imagine this, here are a bunch of pictures of my favorite bridge, the Verrazano Narrows. I say I'm gonna build all these bridges. And then I tell you, by the way, I'm gonna wait and see which bridges people use. I'm gonna reinforce those. And then I'm gonna demolish all the rest of them. You might think, okay, Bird is a terrible civil engineer, despite my amazing ability to build a thousand beautiful bridges, because why am I wasting all this time and energy building beautiful bridges I'm just going to demolish? Except it turns out that your brain does a version of this thing, this making and destroying of bridges. Instead of bridges, in your first few years of life, your brain makes trillions of synapses, so connections between your neurons. But as you get older, your brain prunes a lot of those connections back. It seems to be a use it or lose it kind of thing where you make synapses, you reinforce the ones you use, you prune the ones you don't. Now, if you are wondering, why is the brain such a terrible civil engineer? I interviewed a computer scientist who had a similar question, but when he dug deeper, he realized that this is not such a terrible approach after all. In fact, our developing brains might be able to teach us a couple of things about making efficient computer networks. If you would like to learn more about what he learned, about how our brains learn, check out the latest series from the Unexplainable podcast. It is called Diary of a Teenage Brain, and it is at fox.com slash unexplainable.